Ah, good morning, good morning, guys. All right, it's time to resin. So this is a um, new to me. Let me hold it up here so you can see it really well. I'll try to zoom you possibly. Let's let's try that. Uh, da, da, da. But that means I'm gonna have to move a little bit or just tilt you like that. Oh, how's that? Nope, right there. Good, good. Mostly you can see most of it, right? If I do that, it's all in there. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a clock, right? So I'm not that fast, guys. So I went in and I did some coloring. And we're going to attempt to pour it. And I'm not sure if my desk is level because I... Oh, see, now I just set you on some coins. Let's take those off. Because I uh, lost the level. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Did I tell you guys it's Patty? Hello, hello. I think we need to work on a new um, fairy tales and fireflies sign. So I have the resin. It's right here. Lots of bubbles, you guys. I'm, I am concerned. And uh, for those of you, before you come at me, I uh, mixed it in a different room. All my doors are open. Sorry, I'm crinkling, I know. Uh, with, with all my gear on. So I have all the PPE gear. I don't play around with resin. I take precautions. So I put some new, um, this is actually eyeshadow in here. Different colors of eyeshadow. I don't know how this is going to pour, you guys. I also have these new little UV resin things that we're going to hopefully play with on the side. So I think we're going to just do straight pour, you guys think? Like no color because I already have that. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to go with it and see what happens. So what's everybody up to? I want to avoid that spot right there, obviously. So I forgot to measure this one. I usually, you know, measure them before I, uh, with water to see how many ounces I'm going to need. And I forgot to do that, you guys. And by the time I thought about it, I had already put all the coloring down. And so, all right, so we can see just from that little bit that we're coming, are we even, I don't know. I'm trying to be very specific about where I do and do not pour. So we need to pour up here. Yeah, I know this is a different, oh, see, it went right over the side. That's the problem with you, Patty. I don't want to break my side, so let's try to, mm -mm, mm -mm. I know myself so well, you guys, I am already wearing two sets of gloves because I don't want to go over that border right there. This is a practice one, of course, but I still wanted it to be pretty because it might come out great. You know what I mean? And I think I don't have enough resin. So we're just going to go for one coat. See where that takes us. Mm. Yeah, I'm doing it in bits. And I definitely should have put this in a smaller container. So I had better control. So I think I can still do right here. And it should work its way into that, that leaf. And here's our bird. Let's do our bird. So, obviously, it's backwards right now. Oh, oh, oh. Easy, easy. Get in the beak. So I worried about it getting in the beak. But then I just... Did you see what I just did, guys? I think I went over this edge right there. Which I certainly do not want to do. But I do want to get it inside his beak. Sorry if my head gets in your way. I should have put it on the spin plate, but I didn't. Okay. I think... So I have some of these little pipettes, which are supposed to work. They came with the kit. So like for here, I think we're going to try to fill it in this way. These don't suck up very good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, these came with my beginner's kit because, you know, because all beginners should do complicated stuff. <laughs> Right? I'm just in for a penny, in for a pound, man. Oh. So I can see that that's not really level quite yet, but it's very close to level. So the beauty is, is we have, oh, shoot. We have the UV stuff, so we can certainly finish with that. All these little 
spots that I'm worried about. So let me see, what am I gonna <laughs> see in here? I think the six is gonna need some help. Oh, I'm just blowing bubbles in this thing, you guys. I'm sure there's a better way. Because I wanna get it inside that. You know, because a lot of times when you're doing numbers and stuff, if you don't get the edges, right? It's been part of my my thing is not making sure I'm all the way in the... Oh, shoot. I went over the side. So, the bummer is I don't think there's a great way to clean this. So, I think it might be a one-use thing, which is not making me happy. So, I would like some with resin bases or uh, silicone bases so I can use it again and again. So at this point, it's not even really sucking it up. It's more that I'm, uh, I'm getting a little bit sucked up, but mostly I think I'm just picking it up on the edge. So I'm trying, because see, now that it's in there, the epox or the resin is so thick, it doesn't, oh, that one got a good one. Okay, that one got it. So I'm leaning down here so I can kind of see what we're doing, you guys. Can you believe I lost the level? Like, it's just so me, right? Like, what do you do, Patty? Because I have all my resin stuff together, but I also have, like, my tools together. And part of the problem, I guess, with mixed media is your tools tend to overlap. Who else are we worried about? Okay, so kind of worried about this spot here getting resin. Oh, shoot. See, I didn't get any of my little thing. Oh, it's so slow. Come on. And it went, one time it went all the way up, so there's definitely not going to be recovery for me with this thing. More experienced people? Probably. Not Patty. So I tried to mark out the spots that we did not need to get. I'm trying to flood the uh, extensions. Come on. Do you see how slow it comes up? It's cool to watch, though, I must say. It's just that I know, because I poured my resin ahead of time, that it's on a bit of a clock. Okay. Where else might we have some issues? I don't know. They look okay. Well, I guess in the ones, huh? In the, the head piece of the ones, like right here. So notice I did clean off the desk because I really wanted to play with resin. Oh, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. So notice I cleaned it off. I did. And then I put protective paper down. That can just be, it's like a um, paint, paint, uh, thick painter's paper from uh, Home, De Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't know. My husband bought it for me. It is not my favorite one. It is thick and it makes really great backgrounds when you want to thicken a tag. So in between two pieces, it does do that really well. Most of the time I tend to forget about it because it's so thick. But uh, look at this coming in handy, isn't it? I know I usually have silicone mats down, but they're behind me. I don't know why, because I had intended to certainly stick them right on top of this paper. Come along. Oh, I guess there's a bit in there. It's just up in the top. Yeah, so this is kind of fiddly. I'm glad we went with uh, just clear and that I pre-colored it. I would love to do the coloring with you guys on camera, but um, I know from that other tree that's sitting beside me. Now, I don't really have that kind of time. I am not fast enough. My stuff starts to cure first, and that's why that one turned into a trivet. And it's kind of just sitting here. I didn't even offer it up for sale. I could have. It's good enough. See, do you suppose this part is supposed to be done? I feel like it is, because how else would the clock stay in place? And see, I get to make sure there's some in there. So I'm trying to do it kind of at a slant so I know that I'm shooting it up in the spots. Like that one absolutely has a little bubble. Um, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I think it's going to look very cool if, if I can pull it off. Okay, so the 10, the one for the 10, 
doesn't have anything in it yet. Right in that space there. Unfortunately, this does cause bubbles. It does, I can see some bubbles. I don't know that you'll be able to see the bubbles through the coloring, but I'm still hoping to get that, you know, opaqueness that, or no, opaque is completely, <laughs> completely done, guys. I mean, I'm hoping to get the um, see-through kind of factor. Oops, I moved the whole thing. I just wanted to make this deeper so it sat up a little, little more. Okay, see, I can see it's not in this piece in the floor. Certainly is not. I guess I could have just flooded all the pieces this way, but whoa, it's slow. And you know, my slapdashness, I'm just used to just putting it on there. Okay, that one's done. That one's full. I'm a little concerned with... Um, Wow, this is really the slow way. Nobody needs to do it this slow, just so you guys know. But I know that I tend to miss the little edges. So I'm concerned with getting, making sure something gets in that portion. Okay, these ones aren't done. Which I could pour them a little teeny bit, you know. Oh, where's my edge? Oh, see, see what happens. Yeah, Patty, good job, good job. Hold on. Please don't break the barrier. It hasn't, yeah, it's okay still. But, okay. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Did you guys know that the McDonald's cups open like this? So that you can I might open this one a little too much. Maybe I only need to open, yeah, a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in here and see if I can control it a little bit better. Do, 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 do. I know, and oh, shoot, Patty. Well, thank God that wasn't already filled. Okay, do you see I'm not going a whole lot slower? What is wrong with me? All right, hold on. Because <laughs> I just went over that edge right there. See how much I went over? Getting it right back in. Yeah, you get your bum right back in the system. Get in there. All right. Go slow, Patty. Slow is very hard for me, you guys. This is like a learning curve in patience at times for me. Do, do, do. Right between those. Easy, easy. Get over your line. Easy, gently. Oh, I must need to watch The Princess Bride because I catch myself saying that a lot. Mm, I know, I'm not as talkative because I am concentrating so hard on this. I'm getting it in the right spot. See that I got a drip, it's gonna cause me issues. Just a titch, just a titch. And because I'm not holding it upright, I think it's coming down the side. Who else needs a titch? See, right? I must tell you I was having an easier time with the little uh, pipette. Oh, shoot. Are you still? <laughs> I don't know if we're even anymore, but... Like, I know, I gotta get kind of close. Is that gonna, is it gonna flood in? Give it a minute, Patty, give it a minute. Oh, it's so pretty though. It's gonna be so pretty when it's done, you guys. Okay, so I can see that it's not in that little bitty edge of that one. I mean, not the one, the, this, what is this? It's a leaf, Patty, it's a leaf. Yeah, because this is a tree. So, full disclosure, I bought this to make my mom a clock before she passed away, guys. I didn't know she was going to pass away. It was completely unexpected. So, this is easier to handle this way because it's more like drawing in the edges, I got to say. So, I'm going to have to look into seeing if there's silicone pipettes. Okay, this one I think is done. It's not all the way to the top yet, though. 
Now, why did you just cause that big old bubble in there? Do you see how I keep splattering? That's why I have protective stuff down. Because I know myself, I know myself. Okay, I know my three isn't done at all. Nor is this little, oh, that. Oh, heaven's sakes, Patty. It's coming out way quicker than I'm expecting it to. I'm not gonna lie. Even with it being on this little bitty. But we're doing it, we're doing it, we're getting there. Who did we forget? I don't think I did. Did I do the edge of the two? Oh, yes, I did. Good, good. This is good here. I mean, it's a little low, so obviously it needs a titch more, but that's okay. Here, I was worried I wasn't even going to have enough. Oh, that was probably too much in that area. Okay, see? Do you see the bubbles? Well, I'm going to give them a minute, see if they take care of themselves. While I try to look over here and see what we did and did not do. Hi, if you can see me, see me in the camera. Good morning, good morning. I know you still need a little more in you. I would rather flood it this way, but they don't always cooperate. You see? Woo, woo, woo. It's very stringy. Okay, so I think I didn't miss anything, you guys. Did I, though? Well, this one needs some help. Yeah, it's not even solid. Down the edge, down the edge. Oh, good job, Patty. You managed an edge. So I... Um, my mom's ashes currently reside with my sister, and I thought... She might like to put this clock with my mom, but I forgot that my sister's home is very home and gardens. So these are not her colors. She would never do this much color in her life. Um, her, her living room is white, gray, and black. So we will be pouring this again, I'm sure, um, in those colors. So it can sit by mom. Probably. Um, I tend to be very colorful, as my mother was. Like, I like colors in my work. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now. So I think that did it, guys. I don't know about right there. Looks like it might need a little more, but we're definitely going to use this. A little pipette thing. So, um... A lot of the molds that I bought for my resin work um, went around my mom because my mother loves my work more than anyone I have ever known. So um, when I was buying molds, my mother was always in my mind because she loves to display my work. I mean, I figured I would sell them too, don't get me wrong, but um, a lot of them are on things that she and I both had a love for so except for the dream catcher I have a dream catcher we're gonna make you guys not today because it's a big pour but my mom loved dream catchers like obsessively loved them I don't know I do not have that issue well preference how about I say preference because it's not really an issue that was that was said very wrong my mom didn't have an issue she just had a preference for I think so I'm inclined to pour a little bit more in the body, but then again, I kind of think it's okay. So I'm like, let's just, don't go overboard, Patty. Don't go overboard. Cause like, I feel like I would like the attachment parts. I want to make sure that they are, you know, up. Oh, see, okay, hang on. Hold. We definitely need to bring this this way because things are coming, shifting this way instead of staying straight. And that's what happens when Patty can't find her darn, um, level. So I felt like that tail is, that tail still needs some work, guys. But the base of this I'm trying to make sure is all the way up. But I'm afraid to pour through there because I know what's going to happen. Actually, the top of that is level. Okay, everything on this side is level. 
because of course it's leaning this way. So I have some coins and some washers out here on the side in case I needed them to level it off. Once I move it over to the drying rack, that is level. That space is level. I've checked it. I should probably have my husband check it because we all know my skills at that are wanting. But when we reset the room, we will make sure every single table is level. Even though we'll only have one table, shoot, for resin pouring. You know, if we make enough and we have to set it somewhere, we want that to be level too, of course. How are we doing? Okay, so I just think that side needs a little bit ooh, of work. It's definitely full at the 12 and it's definitely full at the 6. No, look at that. Oh, so glad we looked, guys. These little pieces of the the base of our tree. Our, that one right there does not is not filled. Okay. So I still feel like this portion of this bird needs more the tail. To be clear, I'm talking about the tail, which means his beak probably needs it, but I can't really see it from here. Should have definitely put it on the spin. Not that I would have spun it, to be clear, because somebody's going to come after me in the comments. I just would have been able to turn it for a better view. Not because I know you guys have seen me spin paint a million times, but that's paint. That's different. This is I'm not, I'm not going to spin the, the resin. As you know, I have several people in my life not even happy that I'm playing with resin, but like other people don't get to define your art. So there's that. There's that. So you guys, I should have took a picture every day. I didn't to show you, but my Samuel as you know, likes to dress up. And so he has worn a suit to school every day this week. Uh, some of his friends ask him, why does he think he needs to sell insurance? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but that was freaking funny. I couldn't help it. Okay, I'm gonna move this over, okay? Cause every, you guys can see it, right? All of our colors stayed in place, so I'm loving that fact. All right, I'm gonna move it over to the dry station. Which I gotta tell you is not looking super level, but it is, I, I measured it before, but I will check it when we're done playing. Okay, so then here's the thing, we have that and it's clear, but we have all these pieces we never finished off. Remember, I was trying to figure out how to, what all, th these were a color combo for PM Artist Studio. I'm gonna lay this down for a minute. So I just thought, well, let's just, Fill them out. All three of these were, um, oh, this one too. Oh, this one's very close to finished. Maybe we'll start with this first. I don't know. I love them all. Like, I super, like, look at this one. I super love this. But remember, I used <laughs> way, way too much. Um, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, alcohol to get it to, um, get it to a, uh, the bubbles get the bubbles out and uh yeah i made really cool waves which is great because you know we have that seahorse and now we know maybe when we're done with the collage on it maybe we'll throw some if we like it enough maybe we'll throw some resin on it and see if we can make waves in the resin like this because it's a very cool effect um it's just that that's a really big piece and I would kind of like to sell it, but if I put resin on top of it, it's going to get expensive fast. Do you see how everything goes to this side? So it's like pour from this side. I guess I should have just asked my husband to level off the, uh, help me level the table last night. Because of course he would have. But I did not think about it until this morning. I just thought, no, I'll handle it. Except I'm really, really bad at it. Well, I can't lift heavy things, you know that. Fun fact, the other shoulder is trying to give out now too. Yeah, that'll be excellent, won't it? Two gimpy, two gimpy shoulders will just be so much fun for me. All right, I'm just trying to see. Okay, see there's a 
spot there that doesn't have any. But this is not what you guys thought we were going to do today, huh? Well, I did say we were doing resin. And that I had to do prep work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because if not, then you guys would just have to sit here and talk amongst yourselves. Oh, that's a that's a gal phrase, guys. Oh, I heard her say it today on one of her older videos. Um, you would just have to talk amongst yourselves while I went and mixed resin for three minutes. Okay. So see, I can see bubbles. So, see the little, oh, oh, look at that. I broke the surface. Darn it. Well, right onto another one, so that's fine, but pay attention, Patty. I'm fixating on the bubbles. Bubble, bubble, bubble. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to do it. I know how people feel. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm trying to fill up that edge right there. See? Quick, quick. Quick like a bunny. I know what it can do to my um, molds, guys. So that was very quick. I'm going to set this one over to dry. Oh, pants. One second. I didn't, I forgot to put the silicone mold down, or the silicone mat, I mean. Oh, don't rock it. All right, I just switched it up with the other one for the moment. And if I scoot them down, I can put the mat down. One second, guys, I know, that's terrible, right? I mean... Okay, let's face it. Patty walks away from the camera all the time because I'm never prepared. Oh, I just laid it in our perfect mold. Dang it. Now I think we got a bubble. Oh, please. I can't. Because I got gloves on, I can't get my fingers under. Oh, stop doing that, Patty. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, Patty? Okay, three times, so we're going to have to fix it. Give me a sec. I'm coming. Oh, dang it. Three times I just smacked that part. Oh, it still looks okay, though. Interesting. All right. Well, it looks okay, so never mind. I don't know how that worked out, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it as a win. All right, back to you. Sorry. All right, so there's obviously there's not enough in here to fill them all. So let's take one of the shallower ones. This one I thought was really fun. Nope, go this way. I just don't want to waste the resin. Nobody wants to waste the resin. That would be craziness. So, because this is long cure resin, right? So this will be, well, if I sat them outside, it would be done tomorrow because it is sunshiny and nice and warm today. But I don't know, since they're already over on the, uh, Whatever that is, counter, um, cupboard thing, <laughs> stand. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're already on the stand. I kind of don't want to move them. I just want to get the rest of this out, which is going slow. I know, I know, I know. And you see how much resin's all over the thing, this thing now? Yeah. Well, that filled that nicely though. Okay, so, I'm sure you guys know Sherry. I don't remember her last name, but she's a resin pourer, and I learned from her. I was I was doing the let it dry and flip it out. Here's the thing. I hate cleaning. So, why would I have wanted to do that, right? I don't know, because I know it makes some cool shards, because I have some over there, but I don't like it. I don't like peeling it. Thought I would. Nope. So we're just going to wipe them out really quick so the resin doesn't have time to dry in there. And yep, there's a garbage right directly underneath of me. And for me, I just have this big container of uh, um, hand sanitizer, which is, you know, basically alcohol. So I'm just going to wipe it out with that really quick. And then... 
And then we can continue on, guys. Just let me. I'm so messy. Let me make sure I got it. And then that way, even if I miss something, the cleanup will be minimal. Let me clean my hands first, though. That's why I wear more than one set of gloves. Because it's inevitable I'm going to get so messy uh, that I have to change gloves out. So this is just easier. This is one of the reasons my husband did not want me to be doing resin work. Because he knows I'm accident prone and I'm messy. And he was very concerned because, you know, resin is a uh, trying to get, get it in this corner. Just trying to, kind of like when I do paint pours and I just move them around because there's none in this corner here. Because when I was pouring it, for this particular one, all I was really worried about was getting it um, in the mold before it cured. Okay. So we're going to do it again because there's little micro bubbles. Get over there in that corner. Just one more time, making sure everybody's got something. Okay. Hold it straight, Patty, would be helpful. Okay, hang on. I gotta shift it back. The other thing I did wrong with some of them, well, okay, I did everything wrong, but we were experimenting with paint. Okay, that's over there on the, on the shelf. All right, so. I was thinking we could fill these, but we'll do that on another day because I like filling them with leftovers. What if we do a little bit of, hold please, I'm too sticky. It's not gonna wind up good. See, gloves. Now after this, I'll have to actually change gloves. What was wrong with these guys? Nothing, we just need to put these, put the, um, drill the hole back in and put the pieces in. Aren't they fun? These were another part of the color combo. Sorry. Can you see all that shimmer in there? Beautiful. These are, um, so I was doing a flower in this one. Can you see? Oh, no, you can't. Can you see the flower in there? Right? Beautiful. So these were um, PM Artist Studios uh, color combo challenge. So I don't know what the color combo is this month, you guys, because I've been distracted with other things. This I'm just going to put right in the trash. Of course, it's sitting on the baby wipes in case we decide we need it again. So do you see her? How beautiful is she? So we're not going to paint her, I don't think. But I did think, I mean, we're going to color her. And, yep, she's in honor of my mother. So we're going to be using some purples. This is new. I don't know what this is. Ooh, look at that purple. Look at that purpleness. Okay, so... What I want to do is, I really don't need gloves for this, but they're already on my hands. Unless they start bugging me. So, yeah, we're just going to kind of do this portion now that we didn't do together the last time. Let's do her outer edge. Can you see? I'm doing, where are you at? Mm -mm. Okay, hang on. I'm going to take all the gloves off because I'm not going to touch my phone with any gloves that may have touched the resin. I'm going to try to pull you down even more, guys. Ready? I don't know why I lifted the phone up to pull you down. That didn't make any sense, did it? Okay, now you can see good, right? All right. So this is just the top, that protective piece, but why would I want to waste all that color? So yeah, I'm just color, kind of trying to get into her grooves because I think she could be quite beautiful. I think my aunt would love this one. So that makes me very happy because we could turn her either into a sun catcher or a wind chime. Possibly, possibly, right? Oh, it's got a really pink. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Can you see the different color shimmers? Yeah. These might be those color shift ones. I don't know because I threw them all in the box together as I was running out the door. Okay, let's put some more over here on the edging of her wings. Okay. Where are you at? There you are. So this takes me time, which is why I didn't do it plus the pour on camera, because I knew I wouldn't get it done in time. And so I can, if you guys want to, we can do a part one and a part two, but I hear that those are not particularly popular. So we could do, um, that's why I didn't. I should have asked you guys first. 
um, what you guys thought because I don't know why I'm doing the outline all in that, but over here, I think we need to do, okay, this is part of these wings, which is all together. So we could definitely do this portion here with it, at least part of it. And then I like to mix colors. So we'll leave that part for another color, you know, we'll just do the tips in this outer edge here. Get into the tip. See, that was my concern with the uh, with the pouring. Sorry, I know I keep moving it to get to the color. Is that you got to get in that tip right there, or it's going to break. You know, your piece is going to be wonky looking. So I'm just taking it, and I want to. So see, obviously, I already painted some there, but I want to do this tip here. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. So I'm trying to get it right on. Oh, where are you at? The tip of my brush. See. I'm just going to stick that piece right in there. And then try to get it up there on the edge. Because, you know, you want the edge done, too, of your girl. Or whatever you're working on. This one happens to be a, a fairy. And what would be fun, and I don't know. We might have to try it again with different stuff because I was just thinking it would have been really fun to just do different gradients of purple. Okay, so now that we did that, I could take this off with alcohol, but I'm not gonna, because I think we could, oh shoot, maybe not, do the little bitty lines. I should have got a smaller brush, but that's okay. I just wanted to carry some of it into the center. You know. I want my color to move around the piece. That's what I want to do. I know everybody else does it different. And I think with this one, when we're ready to pour her, we'll pour with um, color. We'll add colors to the pour, like glitter or something, something to the pour. That way both sides of her look different, but, this, but harmonious. You know? We can see how that works out. Might not work out at all, but that's why we're practicing. So there was a moment when I thought I might be putting, um, um, ashes in here. And so we are going to play with the different weights of stuff because I think turning your loved one into a beautiful piece of art that you can cherish forever is brilliant if that's what brings you comfort, you know. Okay, so there's that. And yep, I'm thinking about Darcy again. Hi, Darcy. Um, the purple, because I wanted to honor both of our mothers with some purple. So this is just another tone where yeah, of purple, or it's supposed to be, but it should have a green and gold undertone, I believe. So let's come around the rest of the Oh, shoot. That's a lot of green undertone. All right. Here. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, guys. Can you see? Can you see that in there? Where is it at? Like, you see the gold and green coming out? Oh, that is beautiful. But I don't want a hole right there, so i got to make sure to mesh them together. This takes me time. I'm not going to lie. And you, you, you know, this is how this goes. For me, I was hoping to do her in a quick resin so that you could kind of see the results, but I'm not so sure. We might just be doing a prep for another video, you know, because I was thinking, well, there's so many things I'm thinking about doing with her. I'm thinking, oh, well, um, I have to go check the websites and make sure that my colors are heat resistant, though I'm positive they are because, um, hello, this one's cured, literally cured with the sun. No, these are cured with the sun, right? They're UV, that's what they do. So I'm just trying to decide, um, I have to go read. I have to go read, you guys. I'm wondering if we can make her a trivet because the, 
hold on. So remember the tree, the tree I did you guys? It's quite lovely, isn't it? The tree's lovely. However, um, because uh, this stuff was curing and I just slapped it on, it still has the center pieces, which I know I could drill out. I'm not gonna, because it's just as cool this way where I can put stuff on it so it can be a trivet. I mean, I could still hang it. It could still be hung if somebody wanted to hang it. It's quite lovely. But, um, yeah, uh, that's, that's how I learned. Oh, maybe don't do the, the painting portions and the after the actual pour together because that was bad. By the time I got it all prepped and ready, my stuff was already <laughs> curing on me. Can you see how pretty that is? I mean, it's still purple. When you look dead on, it's a pinkish purple with gold accents. Okay, I'm up to, I'm up to that's annoying me now. So now we have to, maybe if I put it here. Maybe that's a better plan because then it gives me less and I can control it better coming up these little bitties. I really need to swap to a smaller brush. I'm just being lazy, guys. You know, I mean, not that this isn't a small brush, but when you're working with details, of course, it has to be small. So, but it could be, I could probably benefit, come here, little thing, from a smaller brush yet. That's all I'm saying. And no, you guys, I know somebody's going to say it. So let me tell you, you are correct. I did not clean my brush in between colors. Because when I first started and they're touching, I wanted them to blend anyway. So not even worried about that portion. Oh, so pretty, 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 pretty. I love the multicolor facets of this. Yeah, she's going to be gorgeous. I'm just wondering if we should make her face green or if we should do for, go for a flesh color. So we're not going to, I'm probably not going to get her finished today. So you guys could always tell me what you're thinking in the comments if you wanted. I have lots of colors. I do not have a flesh color, but we can make something work. Like we can make it work. We could find something in here to, well, I don't know. Those resins have green. I mean, a yellow and a brown, so we can definitely make a flesh color. Yeah, I'm doing most of my outlines with it. Can you tell? This is all outline work, which I did not count on when I first started playing with it. Or I would have picked a different one for us to play with on camera, guys. But this is part of it, so why not? And I could be going probably a lot faster. But normally, I'd be going a lot slower. So, you know, <laughs> there's that. Okay, so this one goes up into, sorry, I'm so sorry I keep moving her. Um, up here, oops, I forgot to roll it off. Into this chest area right there. See that little bitty one? I'm not sure. Well, that, those would be her breasts now, wouldn't they? Because she's flying into the wind, so everything is skewed backwards. Cause, so this is her arm. I don't think these pieces need poured. So we should not paint those. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Well, I guess if I outlined it there, I should probably bring it down through, huh? Yeah. Okay, so let's just slap it in here. So this is probably what I would normally do. That is not a pourable piece right there. And that doesn't really matter, except I'll pour it, you guys. Well, this piece is, this is her toes. <clears throat> so, but that's okay because we can clean it out. I just want to kind of up here where I missed clearly with the other color, which I'm okay with missing, but not the edges. I don't want the edges to be boring. You know, like, do I want to get both sides of the edge. And I don't even know that this is how you're supposed to do these. This is just what makes sense to my brain. You know, nothing is supposed to stick to this, so it stands to reason when we put resin in here that the resin should uh, pull it off the sides, right? This one's just so lovely. 
Mm, mm, mm. Just gonna put a few stripes through, you know? Cause like that one, that shouldn't end abruptly like that. So if we just kinda skew it through. What do you guys think? I think she's got potential, don't you think? Okay, so let's find something light. Okay, hang on. The little lids kill me. All right, so I have this little package. It came with, I feel like it came with something from my last resin, something, something. I'm not positive though. Because once I throw them in the drawer over there, I never know what's happening. Oh no, maybe I ordered these ones separately. Well, I'm after this gold right here. Because, why? Why, you ask? Well, that's a really good question. Oh, see, look at that. We have some colors that could pass for a flesh color on her. Yep, we sure do. Do I want gold? No. They're never going back in the bag, you guys. I know. It's not going to happen, though. They should. Get off, get off. Okay, so, yeah, we have a couple colors that we could probably get away with as skin tones. Look, those are beautiful, don't you think? Oh, you can't even see over there. Sorry, I just dumped them all out. Let's let's do that. We need, what do we need? Hang on. We need a Q-tip, and that's okay, because that means I can check the resin over here. And yep, it's still looking straight. Okay, cool. All right, so I just want to alcohol rubbing alcohol mm -hmm. i would like to get her toe cleaned back out right there make sure that toe is cleaned out so this must be her legs here right yeah that would be that would be her legs flying backwards sure would all right cool sweet all right so we're just gonna leave that be now. I would like to do her face because I feel like it's gonna get messed up. There, look, I cleaned it on my apron. Okay, so which one of these colors do I wanna do this? Mm, this one's rosier and I like this one, but it might be too dark for a body part. Oh, that didn't clean very well. Try it again. Yeah, I should have just used a baby wipe, I guess, but the baby wipe would, never would have got in those uh, toes. Okay. So, is this our best choice? So, oh, yeah, that's silver. And I don't know if these are the color, color changing kind or not. Oh, that's super copper. Nope, not that one. Though we're probably going to blend it in, to be fair. Oh, man, I just made a mess with it. Fall where you will. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to try this lighter one. We're going to start with that, see what happens. Because I feel like we can go darker. Oh, holy moly. Some of these are so hard to open. I think I had one the other day. I tried so hard, I broke the blood vessels in my face. How stupid is in my eye? How stupid is that? Like, I didn't think I was straining that hard, to be fair. But, oh yeah, that's going to be a cool flesh color, isn't it? Just trying to make sure I get all of her chin. Get my colors over here so I can do the little dabby do thing. Yeah. I mean, she's golden. She is the golden girl now. I'm still thinking I maybe should have did green. I don't know why. How many green fairies do you see walking around? Oh my lord. Yeah, I just said that, you guys. So... Let me know how many fairies you see walking around. You know, I need to go to Ireland, apparently. So I'm going to do, her breasts are covered in feathers and such. So, of course, I'm going to do those in a different color. Mm -mm. Oh, that is a pretty flesh color, don't you think? Yeah, she's not going to be like a normal... I just almost said human fairy. All right, I know I gotta work on these things. Where are you at? 
The fact that I would say anything would be normal about our fairy is strange. Strange, yeah. Well, she's just a normal, everyday human fairy, Patty. Oh, Lordy. Yep. I went there. Okay, so there's some body parts. Get up here to your knees and such. I guess I'm going to do the whole thing, and then I'll probably come back with another color. That's what I'm feeling. So that's what we're doing. Okay. So you can see there's a line right here that I'm going to lose if I'm not careful that says, hey, don't color me up here. This is already dry, just so you know. But it doesn't really matter. I just want to kind of tell myself, hey, you don't have to go this high. You know, there's a ridge right right there. And normally I oh, go through and color them out. Color in. Okay. So that's going to be your body color, obviously. So let's throw some blue in this baby. What do you think? I'm feeling like this, this blue here. Here. There. Now you can see. This blue. That's a good plan. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Oh, look how beautiful that blue is, you guys. Oh, we're almost done. Bugger. Well, um, I guess I'll wait and see if you guys want to finish dressing her together or not. I mean, I guess I could just do it tomorrow, but I feel like the rest is going to be quicker because we're going to do like this way, right? Come around, just do some edging. Maybe I'll just keep going. I don't know. Like that for that part. And then we're going to do the same thing up here on the upper wings. We're just going to blend us in. You know, just some of it, dun, 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 wherever it flows. See, now I'm getting freestyle because all the edging is okay, except for that edging right there, which is probably, is that her neck? Well, it's going to be covered in feathers in our world or magic, whatever, some kind of magic carpet ride going on there. I'm just going to put a little bit of this down in here. Do, do, steal some of that to do in this one here. Okay. And then, yeah, I know I'm speeding up significantly. What color should we do her hair? I wanted a reddish color because I wanted it to be like, bam. Oh, here I am. Also, my mother was a redhead. She's not. She was a brunette. But she chose to be a redhead. You know. All of her children are also brunettes. Except for my older sister is almost not anymore. Yeet. She has the most amazing white hair. Um, we all, uh, so I've had gray hair since I was 18, but um, my sister, the front portion of her hair is almost completely white. And I mean white, white. Like, you know, you see those people pay hundreds of dollars for white, and it is gorgeous. I mean, it is gorgeous. So, okay. So, I'm a little concerned about her ear right there. We're going to let it go for the moment, I think. But I'm a little bit concerned. Ooh, that red hair stands out more than I was expecting. Let's find another purple and blend some more purple in here. Well, let's try this one, actually. Ugh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. Because this color is very light. So it's always great to put a, a dark next to your lights, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a good color. Can you guys see it from there? Yeah, you can see me. I don't know why I didn't just... The spin plate is literally right next to me, you guys. So now I'm kind of... Now that her body's in there, I'm more comfortable just freestyling. Letting our colors blend and zhuzh and be beautiful. So I'm thinking... I'm looking. Um, this one. No, green. I think I feel like we need some green in here because of that chroma green stuff going on. Oh man. There we go. My goodness. So I'm wondering how it will look if we do green on the bottom wing, you know, as our color in. 
I can't look at the clock right now, guys. Sorry. Kind of like that, right? Mm -mm. Oh, it's pretty. We might want to go back and put another layer of that blue. We'll see. We'll see. There's a little bit of purple right there. Already in, but the edges are purple, so I'm not mad at that. Yeah, okay. Oh, I closed it too quick. We need to come to this side, too. You know, right there. Maybe let's do a little blend it into that pink-purple stuff right there. Okay, so let's see. Back to this one for a minute. So this is one of my favorite colors. Well, this is raspberry, and I feel like that's part of my Pam Artist Studio color combo, but I can't use it that way because when you do the challenge, the color challenges, you only use the colors that are in the challenge, and I need to look it up because tomorrow's free play Friday, so maybe... Maybe we'll get our color challenge in and we will color another one. I don't know. This one, whatever I did to it, doesn't look like it got opaque enough. So we're just going to run this down this edge, back into the chroma stuff on the edges. And we're going to bring it down there. See that spot right in there? That's where her little wing catches. And I think this is more hair, but I'm not positive, so we're just... This first time we're gonna go with it and see what we get. Okay, so we only have a few pieces to color, so I'm just gonna go ahead and color them, you guys. And I'm just looking for another variation on purple. I have more colors over there, but um, this is what's in front of us. So, because I really wanna put some purple in here. Oh, darn it, okay, there we go. These old buggers are hard to open. And this is all, I'm pretty sure, technically considered um, eyeshadow. But mica powder is mica powder, right? Okay, that's the theory I'm going with. Look how pretty that is when I mix them. Oh, yes. Okay, that was gorgeous. And we might have to do some more of that play up here. Because see, we're basically done. But like, I can see spots I didn't see before that need... Um, highlights put in. So I'm thinking the green. That's what I'm thinking. Cause that turned out gorgeous where they mixed that this pink, pinkish raspberry purple something. I don't know because they don't have names guys. And that green that we just used made an amazing color. Can you see that? I wish you could see it as there we go. Can you see it? Isn't that great? Like I know she's not a dragon. Maybe I should order a dragon, but I have to wait a minute because, um, you know, I may have spent my budget. I mean, next month is my 50th birthday, but, you know, budgets are still budgets. It's also my kid's 16th birthday. And do you know I can't get him to say what he wants to do? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, well, that's on you. Because, I mean, at 16, you know what you want to do. Or if maybe he just, he's not a huge partier. So I know he wants to go down to a... um a zoo, yeah, but, uh, oh wait, what was I doing? Hang on, we're doing these little, we're definitely going to need that, sorry, these pieces here. Well, maybe we are. <clears throat> it is not, oh, that was unfortunate, oh well. It's not like packing in there, it doesn't want to because there's already stuff there. That's interesting, huh? that it doesn't want to go over top of the other one. But it is toning it, so I'm just kind of going with it. And then we're going to... This side right here really is not holding... Oh, look at that. Do you see that? Almost missed it. There's no color at all right there. So the reason I didn't do all the way in, because I know there's still pieces in here, as I thought, we could go over the whole thing with this silver. Her, the wings, I mean. But this right here needs some color. It needs color. Um, not 100% sold on just that, but we'll see. We'll see, what it, we'll see how it comes out, won't we? 
It's unfortunate I didn't keep the colors over there by themselves. Oh, man. There we go. So then we have um, gold. Silver. Silver. Yeah. Down in here, I was just going to fill it in with silver and see how that looked. Like, I'm going to. Because it's okay to have just some shimmery. I'm even okay if we just wind up with some clearness, you know? Well, maybe, you know, this is Easter weekend, and I know a lot of people aren't going to be on YouTube, obviously. But we could always, oh, look, there's a piece right here I totally missed. See, that's why this is good. Oh, no, that piece doesn't get done, I don't think. So I'm just, oh, Patty, see what happened? We might just need to, oh, but I love that. Do you, can you see it? Can you see that? Yeah, that's going to be gorgeous, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's going to make me super happy. So I think she's done. Well, I'm not thrilled with her hair, to be honest. Oh, I thought I would love it, but let's see if we can put a little bit of, where's that copper at? What if we toned it with the copper, which, you know, um, in the end portion of mom's life, you know, she got in her 60s and I finally convinced her that she's not too old to have fun kicks in her hair. And so at one point she had pink hair, um, lots of pink. I mean, when I did it, she didn't, she just had, cause she had a um, short haircut there. Yeah, let's just tone it down a little bit. Just tone the red, not the face, just the red ever so slightly. And then the only thing I can see left at the moment, well, now I'm putting this around the edge of this cause I just think that might be cool. I know, I just keep changing stuff, but that's how it goes. Well, it's what I'm like when I paint, right? So, same concept. Oh, shoot, we didn't even do the center. There. Oh, that was cool because it mixed all the colors in that are still on my brush. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to um, probably add a little more color to her ear, but I'm going to let her just set for a little bit. Okay? Oh, see, I'm only a couple minutes over, you guys. Well, check her out. She's going to be great. Uh, maybe we'll just pour her tomorrow so we can see what she looks like. Okay, um, I'm going to talk to you guys later. How do we want to pour her though? I don't know. I'm going to let her sit. I'm going to let her sit because I want to make sure I don't want to make adjustments because she's gorgeous. Okay, all right, so I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.